Hello guys, welcome back to another weekly update on my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it. I am Jules and uh, mostly what we talk about here is cross stitch. So, um, and a kind of cross stitch that you won't see in very many other places. I do a lot of what I call full coverage cross stitch, which is where you stitch like, every stitch on the fabric uh, to create a, a whole picture, um, like a painting type image. So anyway, um, I made some good progress, but only on two pieces this week. I really, you know, it was a very busy, very stressful week. Isn't every week a stressful week with me? Pretty much. It just goes from one thing to the next. Um, so I'll give you an update on the zoo. Uh, Zuzu, that is my Zuzu. She's, she's hanging in there. She's doing, actually doing good, but we'll talk about her in a little bit here. Um, the Binksters. Binky, you coming in to make a, no. No, oh, she says forget about it. Um, and uh, yeah, so we've got some stuff to do. It snowed yesterday unexpectedly all day long. And I'm sitting there like at work. And I'm getting a lot of work done, but I'm thinking, man, I wish I was home because I'd be getting so much stitching done right now. Because to me, like snowy weather is stitching weather. So I was a little disappointed about that. And then, then I came home last night and then didn't do any more stitching. So uh, speaking of stitching, though, I wanted to tell you guys that I have been putting out, you may not know this because I don't talk about it very often anymore, but I have a blog, uh, a website basically, stitchingjewels.com. And on Stitching Jewels, there are a lot of resources, not just for cross stitchers, but also for knitters, for people who like crochet, diamond painting, various crafts and arts and things like that. And what I have been doing lately is trying to create more um, curated lists of patterns that people might be interested in, that I can look at something and say, that is from a reputable designer or store, um, so you're gonna get a good quality product and you're gonna enjoy this. This may be something that you're really gonna wanna do. And I've done it, I, I've done it a little bit for knitting and crochet. Um, I was looking to see what articles I've put out lately. Like, I found some hockey knitting patterns. Um, I found some Harry Potter knitting patterns. Uh, Easter Bunny knitting patterns. We're getting close. We're not getting close, but we're heading into that, you know, time of year. But the uh, one thing that I've been doing over the last couple of nights is putting together some small lists of various cross stitch patterns that you guys may not know anything about, may not have seen, um, may be interested in stitching at some point. So I did some for um, Easter, um, like non-religious Easter, and then I did more uh, Christian religious cross stitch patterns and then I did some nursing um, so if you have like if you are a nurse or want to do something a project for a nurse I found seven projects that are of you know they're from all over that I think that you might you might be interested in I've also uh, did some airplane cross stitch play patterns and owls so they're I, they're certainly not everything that's out there but I thought ones that were good enough that uh, some 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 of y'all may want to do it. So the link for the blog is down below and really all the articles are just right there in the front and you'll see whatever you want to whatever you want to see. So um, anyway so I just wanted to mention that. I also have the the big humongous list of cross stitch pattern designers on this on the um, the blog as well. Um, I've got all the floss tubers, not all of them. I've got a lot of them. I've got about 800 of them on the floss tube list, but just wanted to remind you guys that it's out there um, for you guys. And if people aren't on the list, let me know and uh, I can get you on the list. I know I need to update. Uh, it's been a few months since I've been through and updated anything. So that I want to do. All right. That being said, let me show you the two projects that I worked, the two projects that I worked on. Um, first up, let's look at, well, Reaper is right behind me, so let's look at the Reaper. So we're making more and more progress. I got a lot of this super dark stuff done down here, but then I filled in quite a lot. Not totally 100%, but pretty close. And, um, I'm hoping this week that I can fill in even more down here and then really roll this down a good solid inch, expose this last bit on the top. And then there won't be any more adjusting. There'll just be a lot more stitching. So I'm going to go over the numbers. Let's see here. Let me, actually I have them right here. I did about 900 stitches on this piece this week. 
So staying fairly on track. Um, I have less than 9,000 to go. Less than 9,000 stitches to go. Um, so I'll show you guys that in a minute. But anyway, that's Reepa. Reepa. Got some more lighting going on today, so it may be a little bit like overly lit compared to normal. And then Rainy Waterloo. Ah! I walk around this thing, just walking around with it. Oh, that looks really good like that. Um, I just carry this thing around because I can actually work on this downstairs. Um, when I have when I have this out and I'm just working on it, I can actually just set it. Can I set it here? It doesn't quite reach, but I can just set it down across the desk or a table or whatnot and work on it on this frame. But, let's get this back in light. But, as you can see, I've done quite a bit over here. And so I just, I actually just kept stitching straight across. Let's zoom you in here. I kept stitching straight across on this um, just to finish up this cab part. But um, I think I got about 600 stitches done on this one this week. And I adjusted this a little bit more. I tried to pull this up a little bit more. I'm not sure how well that really worked. But... I got a lot more stitching done on it, and I'm super happy about it, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like it mucho. Uh, but anyway, so what did I get done? So I got 600 stitches done on this one. I've got just over 19,000 stitches to go. Pretty happy about that. So let me show you. Put these two down here. So I wrote my, my stats. I got my stat board. So my stat board says... Rainy Waterloo, that looks like a two, but it says six. 600 stitches, about 76%, 19,255 to go. Reaper, Reaper is at just over 81%. So I'm super happy. I mean, we're getting close. These are the two that I really want to finish sooner than later. And these are the ones that we're focusing on right now. Got to, got to focus, got to focus on something. Got to focus on something. Um... What else is going on? So as far as stitching is concerned, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to be devoting a lot more time into this the blog. And so if you guys wanted to, not a lot more time, but just more time into the blog, try, trying to get some more resources up there. I also have a Pinterest page. I mean, I'm stitching jewels everywhere. So if, if you want to find me on a platform, if I'm on the platform, I'll be there under Stitching Jewels. So I have Facebook, I have, um, I, I have Instagram, I never use it. I should, I bet I never use it. I, it's just, just so, so many social media things. It's too much. It's too much. Yeah, the bird says, calm down. Calm down, sister. All right, I'm calming down. Um, anyway, so uh, let's talk about Zuzu um, real quick. Um, so... I told you guys last week that Zoo was not doing great. Um, she's definitely better. Um, we basically, I basically, she was really sick, and um, I took her in and I did every test I could on her. You know, I did x-rays, blood work, and then I brought in a radiologist, did an ultrasound, and, and everything boiled down to something's going on in her stomach, and... It's one thing if your dog is kind of like, yeah, I don't feel all that good, you know. I mean, Zuzu is like, she's on all the time. So when she's laying down all the time and acting painful in her abdomen, like, that's a concern. So I I didn't know what I'd find. I wasn't sure if there was some sort of something she'd eaten that was in there that I just, we couldn't see on any of the imaging. Um, and so I went ahead and I opened her up and took a look inside. And then I put my hands inside of her stomach and I don't want to get into it too much, but let's just say that the bio, I ended up having a biopsy of the stomach because it looked weird. And it came back that part of the stomach has, um, has died. Like there is a part of the stomach that part of the layering of the stomach has died. And how do I say this? Um, our biggest concern is that she has cancer and that we just haven't found it yet. Um, that it's in an area of her stomach that is more difficult, that is more easily affected by cancer early versus a lot of cancers that can grow someplace where it doesn't cause a problem um, until late. Um, so we don't know. Um, we really don't know. And 
Um, she it, she's had a, a five, four or five days where she was like, nah. Today she's actually acting kind of like her normal self. So the question is, is that literally just going in there and we call it a therapeutic stir when you go in and you kind of jumble the organs all around and sometimes it's enough to kind of get them going and things just improve um, or were things just going to go ahead and improve on their own or are we just seeing the calm before the storm and that's that's just what we don't know right now so we're just sort of in a wait and watch mode with her um, so it was uh, a couple of sleepless nights last week after the that was why I didn't, well, that wasn't, no, that actually wasn't why I didn't stream on Thursday morning. I didn't stream because I needed to paint at work. We, you know, it's 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 not enough that we're as busy as anything. It's we have to do every, and I want to say we, I mean me, have to do all these other projects and get these all, all these other things done. And I just, I overwhelmed myself last week. I I was absolutely done in. And I'm still surprised that I got as much stitching done as I did because I really only stitched part of the day on Thursday and part of the day Saturday and then Sunday. And that was all I st all the time I devoted to stitching and everything else was everything else. <laughs> but um, And I'm tired this week, but I feel better now. I feel better. Things are done. We got the projects done at work. And um, yeah, I feel better. And so and I got tomorrow off and then I got the weekend off and so we'll see maybe I can get some designs going on the store oh yeah I got an Etsy store do you know I have an Etsy store yeah I have an Etsy store so um and uh yeah so there's just a lot to do I want to say hi to my family hello family and uh everybody hope everybody's doing well and um I think that's it I think that's pretty much it and so I've just got uh got some stitching to do but I really I'm, I'm gonna work on some more articles for cross stitch patterns knitting patterns crochet patterns you name it patterns and um we'll go from there so I think that's it thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and uh for uh watching yet again and I wish you uh the best of health and safe travels and happy stitching I'll see you guys really soon